All right, let's see if I can do this easily and quickly. This goes along with my blog post, but basically I want to rename these folders, but I can't just directly rename them because they come from, um, from OneDrive. OneDrive is synchronizing them from some SharePoint document libraries, basically. Um, they come from this particular account, this, uh, this work account that I have here. Um, these are two separate SharePoint sites. This is one that I've already customized because it used to say something else. Um, I, don't, I just want to remove the word documents from the end of it or you know, just shorten it up, but I can't actually rename it. What I can do is use a hidden system desktop.ini file, and one already exists in this folder. It's what's causing this eFlorist folder to show with the name of eFlorist, even though the actual folder name is Teleflora LLC. Um, something else, where is it? Oh, here we go. eFlorist documents is the actual name, but I want it to just say eFlorist. So I want to do the same thing for these folders. Um, and to make it, it, it's easy since I've already done it once. So what I'll do is open a, um, a terminal window in the eFlorist folder. It's already got the, um, it's already got the desktop.ini file in there. You can't see it, but if you were to go into the address bar and start typing, desktop.ini and hit enter, it would open it up in notepad. And you can see here is where I have the override of what the local name should be. Basically what I want it to show as, even though, even though the folder name is dash documents, here's what it will show as. So I just want to copy this desktop.ini folder or file into this other folder. So I'm going to get the uh, path of it and we're going to do copy um, desktop.ini, um, just use autocomplete there to get that, and then I want to move it into the destination of this full folder. And I think this ought to work. Let's hit enter. Okay, and then from here, we'll open up desktop.ini. Perfect. We'll give it the name I actually want it to have. I want this one to just be called invoices or IT invoices instead of this super long name. Save and close that file, and then to actually make it start showing the name, there's this little trick. Um, basically, you go to the personalize menu of the folder. Um, you can go to properties or the customize this folder link. It doesn't matter what you do here, um, just hit OK, and now it will uh, reflect the name that's in the desktop file. Basically, opening that dialog basically triggers Explorer to check for the existence of the desktop.ini file and then apply whatever it finds inside. Um, let's do the exact same thing to this one. So I'm going to copy this path. We'll come up here and reuse this command. Um, I forgot to put in a quote mark. There we go. Then we'll do the same thing, desktop.ini. We'll name this one to just be voice. I, I think voice team is fine. That's perfect. And then again, we'll go to properties of the folder, the customized tab. It doesn't matter what we do here, we'll just hit OK. And then now that's customized. Oh, is that so much better? I wish I could customize the name of this. Um, you can do that in the registry, but it resets all the time. So I just gave up trying to have a, a short name where it just says Teleflora. I just resized it so I can't see it. That's fine. Um, and that's a subject for a whole other video. But now I have concise folder names that are still pretty applicable but not this long crap that um, is in the actual folder name. So that's it.